Hello there, Spiro here with another Guidebook of the Week for you. This time we're going to be talking about an add-on to VCAS called VCAS Connect. Specifically, we're going to be talking about Tool Connect, which is an integration with VCAS you can do for torque wrenches. Uh, this integration uses a protocol called Open Protocol in order to communicate from the controller to VCAS uh, and from VCAS to the controller. It's a bi-directional communication. You can push information from VCAS to the controller, like PSET and parameter values, so you can tell the controller what torque to use. And then you can pull information into VKS, like torque data, angle data, uh, PSET number, and other items as well. Uh, the goal and the target of the system is to be able to easily collect all the information you need to for torque values, all in the same system, all in VKS. And we're really into that big central uh, storage, one source of truth, uh, data center, you know, data collection. So we're big into that and that's that's important for us. Uh, so what we've got for you today is a work instruction, of course. So let me see, I got to get that up. Uh, now we're going to do things just a little bit differently this time. And what we're going to do is uh, we actually recorded the video and then we are going to, I'm going to play it for you here. The reason why we did that is because uh, the torque wrenches and the, everything that's set up at the office. And, and right now, I don't know if you can tell, or not, uh, but I'm definitely still uh, working remotely, uh, hiding in my top secret bunker, definitely not uh, in the basement of my house or anything like that, you know. So what we ended up doing was recording the video and I'm gonna play it for you here and I'm gonna talk about it. Uh, one of the cool things is we can actually uh, pause it and I can talk about some of the stuff that's happening on the screen. I'm also moved, I'm in the top right corner this time and uh, there's a reason for that, because you'll see some cool stuff down below here as well. Uh, so you'll see some neat stuff happening. I'm just gonna let this play. We have some standard forms and data collection in this. Uh, you've got your checklists, you've got your work order tracking. You are going to notice in this as well, you've got some notification alerts, and you're gonna have some serial number tracking, because it's gonna be important to track the serial numbers within the uh, t with the torque values and everything, right? So I, I track the serial number of the product, I perform these torques with these angles, so we're gonna collect all that data. Uh, so we go through our process. We're gonna do our serial number tracking here. So we're gonna go through and advance through. And then right about here, we're gonna do our serial number tracking. And then after we fill in our serial numbers, this is when the torques are going to start happening here. So then what's gonna end up happening is, uh, what you're gonna notice is there are some blue annotations with some gearboxes on the screen here. This is the Tool Connect annotations that we have. Uh, these are also the items where you can push the parameters and the P-sets to the controller. And what we're going to end up doing here is the operator is going to select the tool that they use. So the tool by tool serial number in this case, uh, they are going to select that. And then what's going to end up happening is in the bottom right hand side here, you're going to notice that the uh, tool has been reserved. So we actually collected the, uh, we grabbed the tool and we said, hey, this tool is being used for this job. And we've rever reserved that tool. Uh, as the operator goes through at this point, they're going to torque. And now the operator doesn't have to touch the computer, and I'm not going to I'm not going to touch anything. I know it's a, I know it's a recording, uh, but the operator doesn't have to touch the computer at this point. They're going to perform torques, and when they perform torques, they're going to get a good indicator or a bad indicator. You torque it good, you're going to get a green, okay indicator on the bottom right there. You're seeing that, and then that's going to have some data for the operator as well. So we're going to be able to see. I'm going to pause this next one that we torque through. We're going to be able to see the status, OK. You'll also see uh, green, OK status, red, not OK status. So you'll see different things like that. Uh, parameter number or PSET number, angle, if there is one being recorded. In this case, we did not record the angle, but you can. There's other data points that you can record. Uh, torque value, device use. So you'll see all that information in there. Uh, now, if we get a good indicator, then VCAS is going to advance and VCAS is going to say, hey, it was a good torque. If we get a bad indicator, a red not OK, then VCAS is not going to advance and the operator is going to have to retorque that piece of hardware. Uh, so in this case, we're collecting the data automatically. We are showing a sequence of how to perform the torques on the, on the product. Uh, and this could be a single torque or this could be multiple torque values. So you could have uh, 15 newton, newton meters on these bolts and 25 newton meters on these bolts, inch pounds or, or whatever you want. You know, you could have any of that stuff in there. 
Uh, one other cool thing is we put some checks in here as well so that if the operator decides to try and advance through without torquing the pieces of hardware, you actually get an email. You get a notification saying, hey, there were some torques that were skipped. We want to let you know about that. So you get some notifications and some emails based on that as well. Uh, this is the instruction. We're collecting this data in the background here. And what we're going to be able to do is see that information in the VCAS reports. You can see the information in the exports to Microsoft Excel. And I think I have one right here. Uh, so what we can do is we can take a look and see the different torques that are being done with the angles in this case in this report that I have. Uh, so you're seeing the torque values. You're seeing the angle values. Who did that? What was the status? Uh, you're seeing all that information in there. Uh, so you can export this stuff to Microsoft Excel. You can also, in a more automated sense, automatically pull this using the API. So any of the torque events you can pull out using the API. You can save and store them in another place if you have to or generate a report based on them. Uh, you can export it to Excel. You can save it in VCAS and it's always in there for you. Always save and stored and you can look for those serial numbers with the torque values any point in time whenever you need to. So this was just a quick view of Tool Connect, which is part of our VCAS Connect add-on. A lot of cool stuff that we have for this. Uh, so if you want to learn more, you know, reach out to us, ask us about it. Super cool thing you could do. You can automate your torquing processes. Thank you very much for watching the video. Any questions you have, reach out to us, let us know, and look forward to some more super cool stuff from us. Thank you very much. Have a good day.